Good day everyone, this is Matt from Aurelian Group and another video, this time about Zoho Books, the integrated accounting system. If you use anything from Zoho, then it is highly recommended to add Zoho Books to that equation because it integrates with CRM projects, people, you name it. But today we're not going to talk about that integration, we're going to talk about a new feature that's been released recently which is called Fixed Assets. So Zoho Books has got two features that are, you know, making enterprise functionality almost right available to the small business. The first one that was released a couple of years ago is the budgeting. So, and the second one is then fixed assets. So I've done a video on budgeting a few years back when it was released. I really would encourage you to check that out. Just a brief recap. You can set up the budget models and pricing or you know, targets for every month, quarter, semi-annually or annually, and obviously run a budget versus actuals report. Um, but this video is about another new module. It is called fixed assets. Now, as you can see here in the account of module, once you enable it in the settings, there is a new fixed assets module, and as it says here, new. So how does it work? Well, you basically create an asset register, and these asset registers are linked to asset types. So if I go here to asset types, so I got here computer equipment, and uh, I got motor vehicles. Now you can look at the asset module here, so if I do edit, you can see here motor vehicles, it's a declining balance as a method, we do a percentage every month, um, the asset life, I put it on 60 months. Whether or not I want to do computation type pro rata, in other words, February has got less days than March, so it calculates per days, or it's just a fixed fee per month. Um, again, that's your choice. And then obviously you want to know which depreciation account it goes into and which expense account for your depreciation costs. Uh, once you've set that up, you then actually have to um, look at your accounts in the chart of accounts. So what I've done in the chart of accounts, I've set up a motor vehicle account. Here we go. And if I hit edit here, um, so it's a fixed asset motor vehicle. Uh, obviously I'm charged GST on it. I'm going to do a very simple transaction on this. I'm going to ignore any other taxes, etc. But um, obviously the accountants amongst us will look at it and say, hey, this is not how I would set it up. Um, this is just for illustration purposes. So you got to think, what I also do is, hey, when I use this account to make a purchase order, right, or a bill item, then automatically create a fixed asset of the type motor vehicles. So if I post to the account motor vehicle, create an asset type motor vehicles. Okay, so I'm going to save that one. Underneath motor vehicles, I have a sub account. And that's where my depreciation goes into. So I could actually depreciate directly in this account, but I want to keep this figure correct. So I created a sub account where I put all the depreciation expenses. So if I report on this account here, it takes the motor vehicle acquisition cost and the depreciation as a balance. All right. So now let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to make, uh, well, I could do a purchase order, but I'm just going to make a purchase bill and I'm going to put it in for uh, last year or whatever it is, right? So just to give an example, I don't want to upload a bill. I want to create a new bill. So let's buy it from the corporate fleet cars. It has an ABN number, which is made up um, the bill number and the purchase date. Now I'm going to put it on last year. I can do that. I have it locked that year down. Here we go. See a little bit further back. Here we go. Okay, so um, let's do a panel fan. Now I'm going to put that on the motor vehicle account. Let's say the panel van is $52,000 and the tax is obviously 10%. All right, so this is my bill. Save as draft. Now I'm going to submit this bill for approval. And I'm also the approver. So I got the approval set up here in the demo system. All right, that's done. Bill has been approved. So I've created this bill here. And what happens now is in the past, I created the fixed asset. So I'm actually time traveling here. I go to my accountants module and I go to the fixed assets. You see here, there's a panel van. 
but the the vehicle is the the asset is in draft so i can go in here and i can still edit it right so i can still say yep this is all here so the serial number or the vin number and just enter whatever you want to enter here the warranty date warranty expiration date so let's say there is a uh, warranty until i don't know pick a date uh, this is the asset type motor vehicles declining balance etc and here we go and this is all the settings coming from the module all right save the draft and now i'm going to mark it as active so do you want to mark the asset as active? Once you've done that, it starts actually running through all the things and you can't change it anymore. So make sure that everything here is set up correctly. And once you now mark it as active, here we go. The fixed, act, uh, the fixed asset status has been changed. So if I now go here, I can actually see here the balancing. It just requires, uh, it just depreciates every single month at, with, according to the percentage that I've set. Now, the counters amongst us may go like, yeah, you're not depreciating fast enough. I get it. This is just an example on how this is set up. So the beauty of this is I do not need to do my depreciation run manually. I can also look at my depreciation forecast. So here we go. Right, so it's giving me a complete forecast and it's fully depreciated after 60 months. So this is the fixed assets. Now, if I want to write off the asset or sell it, so I can sell the asset. So if I hit sell, you can say select an invoice. So I need to create the invoice first, select the line item on the invoice for the asset, which gain and loss account you want to have and what the sell date is. Obviously you want to have a reason like, yeah, I'm selling this asset. Fantastic, right? The other thing you can do is, oh, I'm so sorry. We had a massive accident and we need to write off the asset. So you need to select the expense account the write-off date and the reason so once it's written off the, de the calculate depreciation after write-off date will be uh, deleted so that means there will be no more depreciation afterwards it's gone from your books uh, so yeah check out this feature for fixed assets in zoho books it certainly is going to save you a lot of time for your fleet management equipment your plant equipment as well as your your computer equipment um, and let's not forget your fixed assets that are pertaining to your um, buildings, etc.